I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought Nettie might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. It's complicated, but I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. But to do that, we'll need to think beyond local healers. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. From transforming into a mind flayer, yes. But that is not the only thing these parasites can do. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute, and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Because we share a common cause and a common enemy. We are alike, you and I. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. They need me. I have to go. No. I can handle this. For now. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Follow the cultists' trail. They will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the Absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers, the result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece.
I suppose you're right. We still see only a part of the picture, however much our visitor claims to show the full vista of options at our disposal. I can't deny my curiosity, but, as you say, no harm in delaying it, for now at least. I had another dream, which, I suppose, means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the Absolute, but wants us to embrace the Tadpole. Venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. Very serious of you, but go ahead. I had another dream last night. The visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift too just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet, I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. Then we'd do well to walk around it. Use these powers sparingly, if you must use them at all. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. Hmm. On the one hand, you're right. On the other, don't be so wet behind the ears. Did you actually want something, or are you just here to spoil my fun? from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the absolute cultist's lair, and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us, how far into a lithid madness it could drag us. Yes, the one truth that fell out of its cankered lips. There will come a battle. But it will be one with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a Geich elder, but I believe they serve a greater master still.